maybe it's an anniversary, Valentine's, or Mother's Day, but flowers seem to say it best. Yeah, maybe you don't even need a reason. This morning, our Matt McCutcheon shows us a very unique, heartwarming partnership helping to bring a smile to those that need it least. Ben and Julia, good morning to you. Flowers right here, all the way from those grown across the country, out of the country, to tulips right here grown in Terre Haute, Indiana. They are bright and beautiful here this morning, but eventually they get a little long in the stem, if you will. So then there's a plan B. And you may be surprised where they go to bring a random surprise smile to those who could use it. Look at their flowers. Bright and beautiful, cheerful and colorful. There are hundreds of ways to describe them. Bright as a day, it sure does. This is thanks in part to a grocery store. Kroger is the world's largest florist, but that doesn't mean everything here will sell. Every day we're going through and looking at the freshness of the flower. Half a dozen central Indiana Kroger stores now donate those a little long in the stem to random acts of flowers. Oh, these are pretty. The Indianapolis chapter opened last fall and now has nearly 200 volunteers like Roger New. I like the uh, end result as you know, these flowers are all given to, to people who are shut-ins or may not have any visitors. And yeah. Today, he's peeling away the dollar blooms, uncovering a second chance for these beauties. While he chooses to leave the actual floral arranging to others, on some days, he's out making deliveries. It's a shocking reaction, it really is, uh, no matter where you go. Kroger is just one donor, and already, they're looking to expand. What we really like about Random Acts of Flowers is just what they stand for. Um, if you really think about what they're doing, um, they're really offering um, you know, hospitality to people. They're uplifting people um, in a time of need. And can you smell it? And for people like 94-year-old Wanda Hedge. I wasn't too good of a gardener because the rabbits kept me eating, eating up my flowers. This free surprise is priceless. That makes it kind of feel special when they bring those in. You know, you know somebody's really thinking about you. And that means so much when you sit here day after day. Out here live at Kroger, I'm learning what it's like to be a floral decorator. You have to cut these stems here at an angle, then you just put it in the vase. You can do this to a degree here at Kroger, but you can also do that at Random Acts of Flowers. Belinda joins us this morning here at Kroger. Okay, so I've got two of these uh, sunflowers in, and now I'm getting ready to go for the uh, rose here. What do I need to know about this before I put it in the water? You need to always pull all the leaves off okay. where the water can go up the stem and yes. hit the top fro uh, rose. It's a bit of a delicate, uh, delicate dancer to make sure you get all those pulled off and yep. then I gotta snip it at the bottom here and then put it in. Put it in the vase. I may have cut that a little too short, but you get the You're fine. There. Okay. So how long does it take you to make the average bouquet here, would you say? Um maybe seven minutes. Okay. It depends what goes in every Seven minutes, okay. Well, I'm cutting along here, but in Julie, I don't know. This is this is just beginning. I'll post pictures for you on my Facebook later, but I don't know. What do you think so far about my bouquet? Would you I mean would you want to buy that? Would you hire me, Belinda? I will uh, hire you any day. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow, there, there you go. go. Hey, you're hired. Well, you're shipped into you three. Need our <laughs> Very nice. Good hey, job, it man. is a great, yeah. great program. Love to see yeah. 